Hello gamers, uh, Pat here. Welcome to our first look, a review and a tutorial for Distant Worlds Universe. Fear not, if you've uh, heard about this game before, uh, in this video I'm basically going to teach you how to pick up this game and how to play it. I'm going to give you the basics. Uh, if you did not heard about this game before, well, it's a 4x real-time strategy game. And it's kind of amazing. If, if you want my quick opinion, it's amazing. I haven't played something like this in a long time. Uh, well, I, I did play turn-based game, but I don't remember playing strategy games. But anyway, anyway, as I've said, in this video I'm going to teach you how to play this game. So I do have to apologize ahead. This game is going to be a little bit long, but trust me, if you want to learn, watch this video. I've watched uh, a lot of videos myself, uh, I've read a lot about the, uh, about this game and it was kind of a pain in the ass, I haven't found a good and decent tutorial so I decided to make my own tutorial. I've, de I've done the same with um, uh, Crusader Kings 2 and with uh, Europa Universalis 4, uh, two games made by Paradox Studios and two games that are very complex. But I've done them, I've done the videos last year and I still get comments about people thanking me how I helped them learn the game and now they are able to play those games so i'm going to do the same with this game right now you've, you've seen this screen before right i mean you have a planet you have some stats here uh you have resources uh, popular happiness other stuff like that right you can even name your planet and other eh, eh, you've seen this before right but and then you, you you zoom out a little bit okay okay you see more stuff you see a star you see a planet here you see a moon look the, the, the planet has a moon interesting interesting right hmm and then you do the mistake to scroll out even more and holy shit what the hell is this what the hell is this? How the hell am I going to play this? Holy shit, it's too complex for me, I'm just going to close this video now and I'm not going to care about this game anymore. Wrong, don't do that. I believe in you, gamers. <laughs> You're going to miss on something kind of nice and kind of epic. Yes, the scale of the whole universe looks intimidating, but the game has a pretty cool system where it automates what you want it to automate and it's, leave, it's leaving manual on what you want to leave manual so you can actually automate everything and you can just hang out you know sit like this and look how the AI is playing the game you can put everything on manual and do everything yourself or if you just want to control one ship you can control one ship if you want to do only the diplomacy stuff you can do the diplomacy stuff if you don't like designing your own ships you can let the AI design your own ships or you can do it yourself right stuff here interesting right interesting <coughs> so as i've said um, on this video i'm going to show you how to play the game how to start it so let's actually start a new game i'm going to quit uh, to quit the interface is okay it's looking a little bit windows like it but it's okay don't worry about that so there are some tutorials uh you won't need to do the tutorials if you are, you know, watching this video. <laughs> I'm, I'm that confident. Now, however, keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm not really an expert on this game. I'm still learning about this game a lot. As I've said, I've watched other people's tutorials and they were long. They were talking about things in segment. Let's talk about diplomacy. Let's talk about ships. Let's talk about that. And I've watched two hours of videos and I still didn't knew how the fuck to, to pick up the game and play it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you how to pick up the game and play it. And after you learn those mechanics on how to start, then you will be able yourself to read about stuff and inform yourself better on how to do some things better. That's my goal here. First thing, um, um, you have the Galactopedia over here where you can read about uh, races, uh, you can read about ships, you can read about research and other kind of stuff. That's going to be very handy. So let's start a new game. There are various uh, things to do. This is... Um, I'm, I haven't focused that much over here. I'm going to show you how to create a custom game. So we are going to click here. Custom game as standard empire. You can also play as pirates, guys. Yep, you can play as a pirate. 
and you can play as a pirate faction that has different type of things that they are going to do. Uh, some pirates, you, you can play uh, different styles. Uh, you can play as a pirate as a smuggler. You will get more bonuses when you smuggle things. You can get as an aggressive pirate and you get m uh, points when you are destroying stuff. What's beautiful about this game is that it's a game that creates stories. The purpose of the game is not to win it. It's the whole experience that you get from when the game starts. And that's something amazing. I love this about games. See, I, I said the same thing at Crusader Kings 2. That's a game that you also want to play. Anyway, custom games are a game as a standard empire. We have a couple of uh, settings here, elliptical, uh, spiral, ring, uh, irregular, even clusters, uh, varied clusters. I'm going to keep it as spiral. Then you can set up the how big you want this uh, galaxy to be. 100 stars, large stars, as I've said, each star can create numerous planets, each planet can create moons, uh, can, can have moons, right? And this is how big the sector you want it to be. A sector is like a one uh, square there. Anyway, then something that's very important is the expansion. We are going to start pre-warp because that's how I will teach you the stuff. Pre-warp means that you just found out that, uh, hey, there are other stuff out there. You've seen some pirates that are going to come and bother you. Uh, but you need to discover the, you know, the warping technology yet. With starting, you already have the warping technology and you are going to start with the exploration. So, I'm going to start with the pre-warp. Then you have the um, aggression. This is the, this is the expansion for everyone, by the way. You can set up, you can set everyone to be pre-warp and you can set yourself to be uh, more, more advanced. You will see that later, anyway. Aggression, difficulty, you are going to keep it on normal. Uh, research, costs. You might want to start it with normal, just so you can suck the kings. Uh, basically, if the research uh, is more cheaper, uh, you are going to research things faster and basically uh, you are going to progress faster right through the game. Space creatures. Uh, yep, there, there are space creatures, for example, like this. Uh, there are various. Uh, this is actually kind of powerful. You have sand slugs, you have... Uh, anyway, you, you will discover them yourself. I'm going to keep them on few because they can tend to attack your mining ships and other stuff like that. For now, depend. You, you you can customize it whatever you want. And also pirates. Pirates are kind of important and they are going to... I actually have my first combat with pirates. I never fight it with other empires and I don't usually like to play aggressive. So I didn't look to create a war yet, but with pirates they can actually help you out. But they can also be, you know, they they can attack your colonies and uh, they can attack your mining ships. But you, I, I, I want to leave it on normal. And then how uh, is going to be the pirate strength? Uh, normal, weak, strong, and so on. So colony prevalence, I'm going to put uh, it on plentiful. And then independent alien life, there can be. Alien lines that are independent by itself, and also if you um, I think that you do it on another skin, you can allow them to for for them to become an, an empire, which is kind of nice. So your race, look guys, look how many races there are. These guys are kind of cool, as you can see, they are a race uh, family amphibian. Native planet type is ocean. Default reproduction rate is plus 19%. They are very passive, very co cautious, uh, quite friendly, quite intelligent, very dependable. Uh, bonuses: gifted scientists, faster research plus 10%. Master engineers, ship maintenance minus 20%. Resources bonuses: if you have these resources, you are going to get a couple of bonuses. Then, each race has its own victory conditions. So for this race, you will get 50% of your whole winning condition if you control 33% of all ocean colonies in the galaxy. 25% if you control the three largest ocean colonies in the galaxy. Which is kind of nice because it's giving you a purpose with the, each race on how to play each race. Uh, and you can also try to play it differently, of course. Um, more likely to generate uh, characters. More likely to generate a new colony governor characters plus 30 percent okay kind of cool right uh look these are some aggressive races very aggressive slightly reckless quite unfriendly quite intelligent extremely unreliable uh bonuses fierce rivalry lower war wariness minus 70 percent 
Uh, yes, there are a lot of uh, races for you to explore. Uh, I like these little guys. <laughs> Quite aggressive, extremely reckless, extremely friendly, extremely sloopy, very dependable. Bonuses, natural optimist. Happiness plus 30% because hey, when you're stupid, you can also be pretty much happy. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's select those, those guys. Just for you, you can name your empire, you can select a different type of... Um, um, for your flag. And, uh, you, your location where you're going to start on the empire and this is basically the uh, your starting planet it's just starting it's a new planet home system normal uh, you can be it harsh or whatever you can customize a lot of stuff but we are going to put ourselves as tech level pre-warp you guys have said that though the, uh, the other setting was for the whole galaxy this is for you and corruption level normal and you can also have different your, your type of government despotism feudalism uh military dictatorship there are other uh hive type uh, races that you can have uh, government as a hive mind which is kind of cool uh we're going to put up republic because research speed uh, speed past 25 percent other empires you can you can set up how many other empires are going to be and you can add them manually or you can auto generate uh, them and you can also allow independent alien colonies to start a new empire during the game of course and this is basically the victory condition if you you, you you can uncheck everything and it will just be a sandbox game but anyway don't worry about this you you will learn this later i i've disabled allowed tech trading so we won't be able to trade tech but basically, let's start the game, and I will explain you what's with the victory conditions after. By the way, guys, I'm still drinking my coffee. It's uh, 9.23 a.m., but I woke up at 3 a.m. actually. <laughs> I ate, I watched a movie. So, uh, Distant Worlds. I have about 30 hours played, and uh, the game came out last week. I haven't even played Watch Dogs that much. You know, Watch Dogs, AA hey, hey, game, everyone wants to play um, Watch Dogs, and I'm playing Distant Worlds, which is like a game that no one heard about, right? Anyway, welcome to your empire. This is us. You are the ruler of, of Kiadianas, whatever your government type is, a republic. And basically, victory conditions targets achieve 80% of the following. Kindian race spe specific conditions. As I said, they each race has their own specific conditions. Your economy generates 33% of the galaxy, control 33% of the galaxy population, control 33% of the colonies in the galaxy. Victory, victory conditions do not apply until 1220. Uh, so 20 years from now. So we are a standard empire in the age of shadows. Pirates, smugglers, and mercenaries rule the galaxy. Your empire is largely undeveloped with no space technology. Before you can take uh, to the stars, you must first research critical technology like hyperdrives and colonization. Meanwhile, pirates and others retain their uh, these key technologies and close dominate the galaxy affairs. As threading star empire, you must develop uh, the technologies you need while manipulating pirates and smugglers to work for you. As I've said, uh, pirates can actually help you. And sometimes you can ask them for protection. Sometimes they, they are going to bully you and ask for money when you don't really need protection. But anyway. Let's start playing and the first thing we do, we pause the game. We pause the game and basically this is what I'm doing. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. If you if have you played this game before and you have your suggestions, please write in the comments below. I'm not an expert, but these are the stuff that I've read about the game. And this, are, this is how I'm doing the stuff and this is how it allowed me to actually play the game. I have a lot of hours and I've enjoyed the game for plenty of hours, plenty of hours. Anyway. This is my planet. We can right click, and the first thing that I want to do is put the tax to zero. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I've used the numerical keyboard, and uh, that also changes my XP um, uh, settings. Anyway. Zero text. Why? Because we want people to be more happy because we want uh, the population to rise. Right now, we have uh, population plus 4%. So we want this to rise more and this is the money. We see the money on top money and we have cash 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 for one plus uh, If you are going to get problems, we are going to get our minus and anyway, this is the first thing that I'm going to do Second We are going to design our own ships only some small stuff but basically quick overview this is your colony screen a screen where you can see where, where, where we just were we can select the colony name 
type of system, happiness and so on. And we have different type of tabs here. Cargo, you see that we already have a couple of resources uh, with our cargo and uh, some ships and other stuff that we are building are going to be taken from those colonies and so on. Resources, we have these resources on our, our planet, which is kind of nice. We have some um, troops and characters. Construction yard, we are going to look here um, uh, again soon. Docking bay and facilities. You can actually build a different type of facilities. Uh, you are going to get them later. This is the expansion planner. We are also going to look at this later when we are actually going to start exploring. This is the victory condition, as you can see. Uh, when you're going to find other people, others, other, other people, other civilization, you are going to see who's leading with the score and other stuff like that. Open Empire policy screen. This is the place where you can automate stuff. Like, for example, diplomacy treaties. Uh, suggest new treaties, control manually or fully automate. Uh, again, you are going to look at this and there are a lot of settings. As I've said, the game is complex, but it allows you to automate stuff. So you will only do what you like the most. Again, you don't like to create custom ships. You let the AI do the custom ships while you do the stuff that you like. You like to manually explore. You manually explore. You kind of go tired to get it, it, to uh, give commanders to uh, com yeah to give command commanders not commanders to give uh, orders to your explorers. You just automate them, and that's uh, going to be okay. I'm going to leave uh, it on suggestions. Anyway, uh, you can ev you even have a switch. Uh, <laughs> you have an in-game editor, so if you don't like how things pop out, you can modify stuff. I'm not going to do that. We have uh, characters. Yes, we have characters. This is our leader. He has a couple of uh, advantages. Mining grade, population growth minus seven percent. Ah, that sucks. That sucks because we want our population to rise as fast as possible. Ah, damn it. We have an intelligent agent, um, <laughs> intelligence agent. Uh, we can send him to do other stuff, to steal uh, maps and uh, steal technology and other stuff. And we also have a scientist that's basically waiting, and this is a pretty good scientist. Anyway, other characters are going to pop up later. Again, you can click here, learn more about characters in the Galactopedia. Again, don't be, trust me on this, don't be like, oh my god, it's so many stuff. Okay, so um, diplomacy screen. Your empire summary screen, where you see the income, and it is one of the things with the game. You are going to control what's the state. You are just like the state. But there are some stuff like mining uh, ships or other ships that you don't control yourself. They are independent, they are private. And basically the private sector is going to do stuff, the game is going to be automated. Like you won't have to put, you go trade here, you go trade here. That's going to be, the private sector is going to do that. Anyway, you can see they are going to have a revenue and they are going to pay taxes to you and you're going to get revenue from that. Uh, research. Uh, let's actually start with the research. What I want to do basically, something that I'm always looking forward to, is to research high power blasters. Uh, I don't want gravity, gravity weapon yet. So again, don't be... I know a lot of stuff, but don't be too... Oh my god, what the hell is with this? I want to first to start uh, research armor plating. Keep that in mind, because you will see armor plating at the ship design later. Uh, this is basically ground attacks, uh, improve logistics, and lowers maintenance of all troops. I don't plan to build troops right now. Uh, ship boarding, I don't need ship boarding. Um, I don't need star fighters. I don't need another thing. Basically, this is what I like to do, as I've said, armor plating. Then I want to research the torpedoes and go to energy high energy cohesion, cohesion to research shockwave torpedo, basically. And also I like beam weapons to go to high power blasters. And this is going to take some time to research. Then here on the energy, there are basically three tabs. Okay. Each of these tab researches something different. Uh, research station. We don't have any research station right now, but this is the total empire research potential. You can go on, you, you can't go over that. Since this is the actual output. Okay. Just some small stuff. Don't, um, Okay, so what I like to do here, something that's very important, is energy collection. Which is basically a thing that you put on your ships, 
So whenever you are not attacking and you are not doing anything with the ship or with the station, it's not going to burn fuel. Burning fuel means money, means uh, you need to have the fuel source. Uh, with energy collection it will just take the energy from the stars. So that's kind of nice. That's something that I will want to research. I'm going to cancel this. Another thing is that uh, another thing that we are going to do, we are going to research space construction, which will allow us to create ships of the size 230. Right now our ships are only 160, they are fairly small. And then we are also going to research this, um, which will allow us to, to, you know, maximum ship size 300. Another thing that's important, it's basically the shields that we are going to research. You know what shields are. This is the... And let me actually explain you how... Uh, basically, a ship, when you are going to design a ship, and you will, we will do the, this next. Uh, a ship needs a reactor. This is the reactor path, right? Uh, you can go with fusion physics, let's have a, this is a different type of reaction. You can go on down, which is a different type of reactor, depends on what you want to do. Same thing with shields. At first, you're only going to have this type of shield, right? But then you are going to be able to go to here, shield reinforcements, or go to intensify shield strength, and then to adversity shield, and so on, and then go on top with accelerated shields recharge. And this is basically one of the most important things, is the warp field precautions and hyperdrive technology, right? So we can't research that those yet, and I will like show you exactly why after this. Uh, a ship also needs a maneuvering thing, uh, which is a d directional thruster. Okay, the game is automatically saving you. Uh, and they are, these are also the engines, the, the thrust that's going to, going to be... Uh, so basically, at first, our ships are going to be slow and they are going to move kind of slow, right? But then we are going to improve the thruster and they are going to be faster and better and so on. Same thing happens with a lot of stuff. So we are going to research this. We are going to research the shields because I want to put the shields. Uh, yes, and then let's research energy collection. And of course, we will want to get this later after that. Well, we will probably won't get there because we will need to research warp field precautions. Anyway, transport system. Uh, sorry, no high tech and industrial. There are some stuff that are interesting here. What's more important is medical system and entertainment system. You want those two first. Why? Because those are two modules that you are going to put on your base and basically they are going to make people more happy. Happiness means more fucking and you know, more population. <laughs> so this is what we are going to do now. So let, let's just go to the game because I realize that you still don't, have, don't know how to play the game. Again, we are over here. This is our system and we are kind of in a remote area. We're not in the center. So anyway, Let's design our ships, and I'm going to do this fast. You click this, and show latest designs, and then I click here, show state ships. These are the ships that the state us can build. These are the bases that us, the state, can build. These are the private ships. These are the ships that our, uh, the private sector is going to build. We are going to set up everything on manual. You see the retrofit? I would, I would actually explain what retrofit means in a second. I'm going to put everything on manual because I want to have control on when a new ship is going to be upgraded. So, uh, we need a construction. Let, let's edit. We are kind of going to delete those because we kind of don't need them yet. The escort, the frigate, the destroyer and the cruiser and the capital shit, uh, shit. <laughs> ship. So let's edit the exploration ship. You guys know what an exploration ship is, right? Since we have no... You can see here the amount. We have none. If we wouldn't have a ship and we would have double clicked it, which means edit, it would have, we would have gotten a message that will say you cannot, you, you cannot edit this mo model because there is another ship that, that has that model. And basically what you do, you manually upgrade the design. And you see, it's X, this is the design name, it, and it automatically got the MK2 because it's like a new version. So retrofitting means that it's a new version of the same product. So retrofitting means that I will tell those ships to retrofit to the new design and have the new components, right? So anyway, let's edit this ship. And what I want to do, each ship needs to have a command center. 
These are the ion thrusters, which is the speed. Uh, this is the fuel cell, how much fuel it has. This is the reactor, which is basically powers up the whole thing. And something that's unique to the um, to the exploration ship is the resource profile sensor. Basically, the exploration ship have a sensor, and when they go right near the planet, they will see what resources the planet has. Right. Now. How can we improve this? I, I don't want the ship to actually go near that planet. You, you will see it later that it's going to be very slow. Well, check this out. Resource exploration station. Uh, explore, resource exploration. If I upgrade this, you will get... It, 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 it has range 500. It has range 8000 if I, if I improve it. And I can improve it again. You see how... It's not complex. Something to, look, to keep in mind. If you see it like this... It's a product, it's a module, it's something. If you see a star that's pointing up, it's an upgrade to that thing. I don't need to retrofit, I don't need to create a new um, a new resource, a new module and put it in and retrofit the thing again. You, it, it will make sense a little bit later. So what we are going to do, exploration ship, and we are going to add more ion thrusters. Until it will be a little bit that fast. I cannot go more than this. So I'm going... To, because we have, you know, the size, it's kind of small. But you also need more habitation modules and uh, one life support. Because the ship is a little bit big, we need more of those two modules. So uh, we can organize them by the category. And you see hub, hub from habitation. One hub module, one life support. But again, it's still a little bit too large. So... Okay, it seems to be... Sorry, no, not life support. Where is the Yon Truster? Yeah, it's it's now, never mind. It's because the ship is a little bit small. So, but we basically made this ship more faster. Because we don't have the warp drive, you will see how slow they are. We are also going to edit the bases. We will delete the medium spaceport and the large spaceport and we are going to delete those to also and the defensive base because we don't need them, we will create them later. And you will see what I'm going to do. Basically, the high research station or, or, or a research station, in our case it's going to be a resource. Why? Because we are going to take the six high-tech la high labs, we are going to leave two, only two, and then we are going to put two labs, energy, and two weapon. You see, these are the three from the resources. Uh, why we are doing this? Uh, from what I've read, I don't know, too, too much details, but basically I don't want to create three uh, of those sh uh, of those designs because they, they, are, they cost money. I prefer to do it uh, smaller and have one chip. Basically, you see, this is the purchase cost and this is how much it's going to cost me, maintenance cost. So I, I, I don't want to have three X700, basically, right? And basically that's it for what we need now. When we will research armor plating and shields, we are going to retrofit them again and add shields and armor on those things. Also, we are, what we are going to do here is... Uh, I want to add... 5. I want to have 5 of each of those. Weapons lab. And you see we need more habitation modules and one more life support. Until the red disappears. Perfect. You see, some stuff are with uh, orange here, and um, some stuff it's saying we do not we do not have a supply of required resources. Uh, what what's basically going to happen is that you see we select a secret missile, which is a weapon. We show the guide and see these are the stuff that are required in order to build one of that component. So see, this is why you are going to see how we are going to expand later. So we are also not going to need weapons. Yeah, I kind of forgot about weapons. Why? Later, yes. Now, not. Look at the maintenance cost. Okay, we are getting the pulse blaster now and the long range gun. Why? Because the pirates are going to come, that's for sure. And we won't be able to attack them at all. We won't have ships. And you basically want to have... You see how the maintenance costs go down? Uh, let's save and I, let's actually do the same because um, this also has a long range gun. 
so there is no point to have weapons right now on the ships because if we decide to have weapons and then we say no to pirates they're going to attack us and those weapons won't be enough anyway okay so we basically modify the exploration ship let's also modify the construction ship i know that probably it still doesn't make sense to you now and we're going to make this faster to about 21 23 24 25 you see even if i put more it's not it's not going to go um too much i believe it's enough like this okay 24 did i add more i think i, add, I usually add like 20 that's enough anyway 24 save so basically you don't have to do this but i, I normally i don't like on games to create ships at least until now because it wasn't really fun for me to to make designs but now in this game the designing process actually makes sense i see how the things get researched and i have a feeling for them to include it and i'm happy that yes i got shields i'm going to put shields and now i can see that my ships are going to be better and you will see the the how much happy you are going to be when you are actually going to to get warp drive and you see how fast your ships are going to move Ah, my neck hurts a little bit because I have to talk a lot. Anyway, so basically, I've kind of rambled, but basically what I just showed you right now, you can, do, you can do in the first five minutes of the game. And then, after you do this, what you are going to do is you're going to select your, your planet. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do things. Uh, you can right-click on the planet and you can select Build Planet Kiandia 2 and you are going to construct a small spaceport. Okay, another way to do it, you go here at the con open construction yard. I only have one planet. You're going to see here a list of other stuff. And here you will be able to, uh, you see, construction yards is this one. It only has like one space to construct. So uh, if I put a construction ship purchase, it's for this is the first thing that's going to be constructed and this one later you are going to be able to construct different type of uh, uh, ships and that will have more of the same time more of the construction module basically that's what i want to say um, because if we look let's look at the design let's look at uh station look let's look at the sp small spaceport because the space you see you see you see we, we already ordered one small spaceport and you see the amount is saying one so if we, if we try to edit it it tells us that you cannot edit because it's already in use we have to make a new version of the hell of the whole thing so you see there are let's see you see three construction yards so basically with this small space i will be able to build three ships at the same time so another thing that we are going to build is a high-tech station purchase so this is going to be the order so what we are going to do right now we are going to oh my god the... yeah never mind we are going to unpause and you see that the stuff are actually moving kind of slow so we are going to play the game at 4x speed and you see sound let's get the music lower hopefully <laughs> it was okay during the whole recording you see some hammers, they are, we are basically building a spaceport, guys. This is so exciting. One of the downsides of this, and I haven't found uh, a setting or something, is that if I, if I want to show you something, like this screen, the game will automatically pause. So you kind of need to look at this. Okay, scientific breakthrough. The great minds of our science engineers have produced a breakdown in the research of armor plating this breakthrough provides a burst of research progress and unlocked armor plating all right the next thing well we are kind of researching this right now what the hell was this or maybe we got a boost maybe we got a boost shields too yeah we are first researching this and then we are going to research shields and we are going to have armor and shields we are going to do a retrofit and you will see how retrofitting works again it's fairly simple So you see, we have nothing. We are kind of alone on the planet, right? We are alone. Look how we are progressing. And it's going to be done. It's going to be done. 
and it's done all right so what we are going to do right now we go to the construction yard we select the small space well, not, not the planet the small spaceport we see the name we can even rename it and we are going to build two exploration ships you see we, we have selected it here and then purchase purchase and we are going to close this another way to do this is here at this uh, screen but i don't like to use it because i don't have control where that ship is going to build and later when you have more planets you won't know where it build it maybe you want it in that system and it's going to spend time until, until it reaches your place of uh, where you want it to have it <coughs> so hey there we have it uh, we found pirates greetings to our victims you may have noticed that we have we're about to attack you but for this price per month you're going to okay we have to pay them and goodbye we have to pay them and you see we are going to give to go even more on minus uh, because we we don't have anything um, we don't have how to defend ourselves even if we would have, no they are still attacking me why I have money I have money it has happened before but I'm not sure exactly why they are attacking me because I do have money in my account so let's actually start a new game <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it's okay why because the settings got saved and you will see without me talking again about all the stuff how quick everything is going to happen <laughs> oh stupid pirates it, it happened before and i was like why they are taking me i accepted your protection money and I do have money. There, there is a thing that if you don't have money, they are going to attack you. But I had money. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, start playing. Pause. What are we going to research? We don't need this. Uh, what I want are more plating. And then let's research enhanced beam weapons. And then... Um, and then what? Oh, the torpedoes. Let's research shields first because I want uh, to show you how I'm, um, you know, retrofitting and then this and then energy collection. And uh, I don't want transport systems right now. I want to research medical bay entertainment systems. Okay. Um, now, about the designs, let's do this real fast because it's not really that complex. We are going to add on the spaceport. We are going to remove the weapons. You see the 1,400... Uh, it's the maintenance and now it's much 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 less right but we are going to add uh, to have a total of five and labs and now we also need some habitation modules one two and two life supports and we're going to keep click save same thing here we're going to add two of those two of the, no never mind two weapons we are going to remove the guns trust me there is no point on having the guns at least from what i've seen so the exploration ship you are going to basically add more thrusters to make it faster uh, we also need the life support and the um, hab module and it's a bit too big and now it's okay we're going to save we're going to make our, our construction ship faster because it's going to go a lot and you will see it's going to travel a lot the construction ship so this is it <laughs> we are actually going to build those and you see how fast it was and they built first a small port station and then a construction ship and then a high text uh, and, and that's the first order of business business <laughs> i sound russian business i'm actually thinking on how can i how could i have made this tutorial better Maybe just start it like this. <laughs> yeah, maybe that, that's how I should have done, do it. I kind of forgot to set up my... Uh, my... Um, let's say actually our leader. No, 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 not the editor. Ed editor. I said editor. Here. Our leader. Okay, nice. Colony happiness and the troop maintenance. Uh, military. Oh, nice savings. This is a much better leader. We're going to leave the cash flow a little bit like that. Let's put the tax to zero now. Oops. 
Okay, we have done it again. So when the pirates are always going to come when this is going to finish. And we also have a lot of planets in this system. 12 planets, 6 moons. So what we are going to do right now is, as I've said, we are going to build two exploration ships. We select... Uh, oh, never, 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 stupid, stupid to me. The, from this screen, called ships and bases, you, you will be able to only only show exploration ships or military ships and other stuff like that. So two exploration ships. And now we are building a construction ship. You see, protection, pay them. You see the firepower is 36 on that and now they left. The firepower was 36. Pirate raiders, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes they leave. No, they actually went here to destroy a couple of space creatures which live in the asteroids. So it's okay. You see, sometimes they are helpful. But sometimes they kind of bully you to give them money. And right now our cash flow is a lot on the minus. Because of that. So something that I, I don't like what the AI is doing. The AI is always creating troops. Ships start constructed. We constructed our first... Uh, our first... Oh, the two explorers. Another thing that's very useful is the icons from here. Uh, you can actually show your um, your uh, colonies. You can actually... Wh what I use it the most is to show the construction ships. As you can see, this one is orange because it's currently constructing. And it's set up to be automated. And uh, we also have those two explorer ships. This is how I'm quickly seeing my ships where they are and what they are doing. You see, this is already moving. So what I want to do is to uh, put them on manual. So what we are going to do, we are going to click here on open ships and base Chris, And we are basically seeing uh, all the ships. But later you can select them to only show the exploration ships. And we see those two here. And we are going to click here and here. And now they are on manual and they are not all currently on automatic. Construction yards and um, you see this is our. It is the construction ship which is also not. I I don't. I really really don't like to leave my uh, construction ships on uh, manual because they tend up to build stuff and I want to have control of the stuff I build. <coughs> so what the first thing that we are going to do and the first thing that you want to do is to explore the the things the plants that have three dots. The three dots mean that um, there is some kind of event there. So we are going to select this ship and we are going to right click the planet and select here and then tell it to explore the planet Rastu. It's going to move there. I'm going to select the other one and we are going to tell her to move here, explore, move to this moon. What is this? Is a destroyed, abandoned uh, basically, it's a ship that's destroyed and abandoned. However, you can actually get a construction ship and you can repair it. And it's actually kind of recommended to get it because it's a pretty powerful ship and it's going to help you early on. So, hey, we got a new... Um, we built a research station and we actually got a new scientist. And we, when we, if we select the, sa this, the station, we see that our scientist is there. And the scientist has plus 8 at weapon research and minus 2% on energy research. Eh, it's not really that great. So soon we are going to do the first retrofit. Hey, the happiness, the colony is much happy now. So you see the ships, how slow they move? You see how slow they move? Oh my god, guys, you are going to be so amazed when they are actually going to go like... Okay, what are we researching here? On entertainment system. We are going to do... Retrofit. Another thing that you can do, but we don't have money. If you select this, no, this is not a Windows error. Mes message is actually from the game. We need about almost three, three, thirty thousand. Uh, we can accelerate at three x speed if we have the money, but we don't. Okay, so let's do a retrofit. We got armor. We got shields. Right. We are going to select the. We want to add armor and shields to our spaceport and um, so on. Okay, again, I cannot edit because this SSP-1 already exists. 
So we are going to select this and we are click to go, going to click to manually upgrade the design. And now it got an MK2 week because it's version 2, guys. It's so easy. So we are going to get to add a couple of armor, standard armor, which is kind of the last thing standing between uh, b b before. <coughs> well, the first thing is uh, that's going to be destroyed are the shields. But if you have shields, uh, if not, then the armor. If you don't also have that, then the components are going to be heated and it's going to be much, much more messier. So basically what we did, we added uh, five shields, which means 500 in total, 100 for each shield, right? And then some armors. We are going to save and we are going to do the same. Okay, we can't do this. Manually upgrade the design. You see it's MK2. Let's add some... Uh, Okay, we also, because we added some shields, we also need to add the habitation module and the life module. And we are going to do that. And save. So what we are going to do right now, we are going to hit, go here at the construction yard. We are going to select the spaceport, right? Click retrofit. And then select the new design. You see the MK2. And now we are going to retrofit it. And it's going to be upgraded. Another way to retrofit things is we want to retrofit this base. Right, we're going to select it and we can click here. You see, retrofit to the latest design, and they are going to upgrade themselves to the new design. Right, it's, it's that easy. And we are going kind of on the minus, so I'm going to put uh, the tax rate to 40%. Ah, I've done it again. Sorry, so the ship almost loan trader. We have encountered a loan trader. There is a story involved, guys. There is actually a story. So, hey, we have uh, found a Tower of Gudu. We have discovered the Tower of Gudu, an uh, ancient ruins from a lost civilization at the start, uh, at the desert planet uh, in our system. So, the rain from the ruins are imperfect at the top. And what do you want to do? Investigate the ruins. Oh, no. <laughs> I really don't like when this happens. Basically, they, they, gave, us, gave, they, they gave us detailed maps of the... 11 surrounding systems <laughs> basically we can see this uh, the system that they have named now we know everything about those systems so it kind it kind of gets the fun in exploration early on <laughs> because we, go, we because we found that but anyway we still can't go there because it's going to take us a long you see how long it took our ship to go to go from here to here well imagine how long it will make the ship to go from here to here <laughs> so on this planet we actually found well there is no point to explore even our solar system because we know everything about our solar system if we select it we see the resources but in a way it's good why oh this is oh this is super important uh why because now i know everything and now i can show you uh what are the important resources and this is actually kind of an important planet why because this planet actually has uh, this Caslon, and that's the fuel required for the reactors, for the ships. And how do you know? How do I know this? If you go this, you go to the reactors, not here, here. You see, it says fuel type Caslon, fuel type Caslon, fuel type Caslon. But if I go here, fuel type hydrogen. There are there is a reactor that, that uses another type of fuel. <laughs> it's, it's it's easy, guys. It's easy. So what we are going to do, it's basically we are going to select our um, our sh construction ship. We only have one. We are going to build another one. And we are going to right click and we are going to tell her build at this planet a gas mining station. Uh, we can't do that because we don't have money. We are going to advance the game a little bit. So as I've said, guys, it's not really that hard. It's not really that hard and it's actually kind of fun. Another way to build a, sh a station is to click the planet and click this icon, but it will queue up. I want to be sure that I'm giving this uh, this particular ship to build those. Another way to do stuff, and this is the way you are going to do this later, is to click this, which is the open, uh, which is the expansion planner screen. Here, oh, we already found the potential colony. You can see. You can basically tease out the whole resources that are in the game, right? And I know it seems, oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh my god, it's kind of easy. 
you see these are unfulfilled you you are going to have different type of resources and this is in, this is your stash these are the resources that you have in your stash um, I only have one source of steel for example this is the current price the current price for steel is a little bit high I believe the price goes from 0 0.8 to 3 these are super rare this is why they are so expensive <clears throat> anyway uh, you don't want the price to go up for the stuff that you really really need and it's kind of an em economy involved here okay so uh, unfulfilled basically later you are going to look at okay I, I kind of need Carson I don't have uh, the fuel right so what you are going to do you are going to see resources targeted by your empire priority and this is are the planets that I know well I know I, know, I do know about the others but because I don't have the the warp drives it doesn't mean it doesn't show all the planets that I have explored right these are all in my system and you see I already sent um, the ship forbidden echo to build a mining station there so what I can do I can click this and then I don't have any construction ships available I can just queue queue not queue and uh, a ship to the nearest uh, to the nearest construction place and then it will send it there to build a mining station which is kind of the, the way you are going to do this later and so also here you are going to see the potential colonies where you are going to be, be able to select it and then you will be able to send the colony ship to explore so another thing that I, I need to explain to you which is kind of easy when you, when you hover the cursor you will see a percentage you see on this place the cars Carson is 98% that's a lot of Carlson there what you want to do is sum all the percentages up and try to make sure that the percentages oh my god this video is so long <laughs> I, I will just end it after this um, that all those percentages sum up to more than 120 percent because the way it goes from what I understand is that one of these private ships are going to travel to that place or mining ships and if it's more than 100 percent or 120 percent it's going to be profitable the whole trip now of course if you don't and you really need that resources you are going to put it there just to have that resource or just to make sure that other empire don't build a mining ship on that planet that you have control of that planet so what we are going to do right now let's look here iridium 73 steel it's not really that great this one 72 this is great this is kind of great I'm going to click this I'm going to Q and it's going to Q and it's going to build up and it's going to go there and it's going to build something there I'm going to do the same with the gold now in case you don't know what with all these resources and you will be like why do I need gold what's with gold right let's look for gold in this list gold you click it and you see all the components that required gold and you see that gold is kind of important why because we need it for high-tech lab energy lab weapons lab we already know about those because we use those we need it for the command center and the commerce center we kind of need we also need it for life support we need it for energy collection so gold is very very important because it's required for a lot of those early components that we are going to use there are other resources I don't know this one that is not really that required look for meridian shields we are not going to use meridian shields right now but we're going to use it later okay so basically we are I'm going to wait for this to arrive and it's going to happen something okay we found something it is investigate and we basically found something that's where, where we found uh, warp field precautions and now we can go here and we can research warp field that this is why it's important for you to actually go and um, research those uh, first uh, what 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 what's happening here no it's getting attacked who's those who are, who are I need protection from other guys you see the pirates are coming sometimes they are messing sometimes they are okay anyway this is the reason why you want to first explore those two uh, planets or three depends on if you are lucky or only one because on one of those uh, pl points where you have uh, three dots it's going to be that warp thing thingy so basically what are you what you are going to do right now the game is going to move kind of slowly I mean uh, you basically are going to wait to research warp fields and when you are going to do that you are going I'm actually going to load another game 
let's add let's load <coughs> we're going to load this game what, what you are going to do then is that you are going to create a ship that's going to have um, some people like to go with a bubble or with a bubble with the first warp engine which basically creates a bubble and sends the ship but the ship is still fairly slow I usually like to wait until I research uh, until I, I research where, where are you where are you where are you hyperdrive technology basically this is the this is the key this is the most important thing and uh, another thing that you want to research as I've said it's uh, is this one which will basically allow you to construct ships with a maximum size of 300 uh, energy collection is also very important as I've said you see I'm kind of I, I'm a little bit more advanced here but I can kind of not on the weapons that much because I don't really want to use uh, weapons that much so anyway hopefully this was useful to you there is some other stuff that I'm uh, you see these are some wonders that you are going to be able to build at your planet so let's go to my colony to the home world and you see facilities I have built a science facility which uh, actually boosts uh, research and other stuff like that so basically you see I have different type of uh, colonies and look how fast I'm going to build an exploration ship uh what what am i doing oh never mind i have so many uh, construction ships that i didn't know where to look so home world i'm going to no not the home world the spaceport that's right here yes this is the one i forgot to rename it exploration ship i'm going to build one hopefully it's going to be built right now if there isn't a queue so it's going to be automated but it doesn't matter see stuff are happening these are private with the dash load line i don't control those you see that there is an economy that's going to happen automatically you can i i can even have different type of ships you see those are look how many ships i have these are all these are also the private let's uh, show you the military ships i've only started to create a fleet recently uh, and I've, l I've let them, some of them, uh, on automatically because I want them to patrol around and protect my field because I've kind of extended myself. Also, you, you see those dots? Sometimes you'll be able to see other type of dots. Uh, it's ki kind of cool and it's kind of going to save your ass. It's basically this thing. It's a proximity sensor. Basically, you put a proximity sensor at your base or whatever and it's going to detect stuff in the proximity and this is the range basically you see I, i've enhanced it i enhanced it so the way i do it I, i've done it i went to this medium spaceport okay i can't edit i don't going to edit and you see how much armor i placed on it how many shields some torpedoes because i already want to be protected in case i'm being raided because until the fleet comes it's going to take some time um where is the proximity Anyway, it, it, it's here. It's somewhere around here. Or maybe I don't have it. Maybe I kind of forgot to add it. Let's see. Sensor. It's on the sen basic proximity sensor. Oh, never mind. I can't add it. it mm, I don't know. That's strange. I kind of remember adding it. No, I have a long range scanner. I have something better. I have a long range scanner. I remember now because after that you will be able to go into the long-range scanners which are even huge you're going to see a lot um, another thing that you want to do colonization later is going to take you a long time to research and then maybe continental or marsh swamp uh, depending on the type of planet uh, some people suggested to always go for the marsh swamp and then for the continental and then you are going to be able to colonize other planets uh, there it is my exploration ship which, because it's automated, it already has, it, it itself has set up to go there. But no, I'm going to tell it to go here. Come on, right click. Um, anyway, it's moving already, but I'm not sure why, why the right click didn't work. You look how fast it is. 
Look how fast it is, guys. Do you remember how long it took? <laughs> Do you remember how long it took to just go for the ship to go from here to here? Right? And now, look at it go. Look at it go. <laughs> it's really giving you a good feeling the first time you actually build your ship and you see how fast it goes or better the construction ship because you wait for the construction ship. when you want to build a mine it, it first, the construction ship first needs to go to your homeworld to get the resources and then go back to that place to get the resources uh, to, to build the station look we found an independent colony So hopefully this video was useful for you. I kind of think I, I, if I were to do it again, I probably would have done it better. And look, we arrived there and there is only one planet which has these resources. Let's select this uh, ship again. I, I know for a fact that if I would to do it again, I will do it better. But anyway, hopefully you've, you've learned something from it. As I've said before, I've looked in a lot of other Ooh, the Temple of Eternal Blackness. We have discovered the Temple of Eternal Blackness and ancient ruins from the lost civilization on the ice planet of that system. What? Investigate. And so now we found documents outlining a unique form of government. Holy shit. The Way of Darkness. This type of government can provide us with special benefits that are unavailable to other empires. The document explains the way of the darkness in a cruel form of government that was the form of an evil empire who once dominated the galaxy thousands of years ago. What happened to the mighty empire is not stated. We can drop this new type of government anytime. Okay. <clears throat> I'm pretending that I don't know what this is about. <laughs> uh, where do I change the... I kind of forgot where. The form of government. You can change the form of government, but I forgot where. Not here. Here. Way of darkness. Minus 80% war weariness. Minus 30% maintenance cost. Holy fuck. Plus 10% growth rate. Plus 30% research speeds. Uh, triple equipment. 50%. Basically the corruption. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> Holy shit. I only lose like 5% colony income. Holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> anyway, as I've said, you can actually play with uh, as pirates. You can actually play. We can actually just look at this game. It's kind of awesome. Please tell me. Scientific breakthrough. Please tell me, guys, if you still have questions. Because I would plan to do another update of this tutorial later. And when I do it, I will put an annotation somewhere on top because I want you guys to play this game because it's kind of awesome. I had a lot of fun with this game. Um, it's again, as I've said, it's amazing. So for me, you know, five ships, uh, ships means as a ship from my logo, you see from my logo. <laughs> I don't I don't give stars to the games. I give uh, ships <laughs> and I'm using a five uh, ship system. So uh, anyway. Play this game, try it out, it's available on Steam, I place a link in the description below. Hopefully this whole tutorial was useful to you, but uh, I will try to do it again, to try to make it shorter. Hopefully it was useful to you. So, thank you guys for watching, see you soon, goodbye.